ready to go to France. We're making croque madame, and we infuse this hollandaise sauce, like 150 milligrams. Evan didn't want me to do that, but that's delicious. Only because it's disgusting. What we're gonna do is uh, turn two croissants into one sandwich. So we're gonna overload on the carbs. Double carbs. We're gonna talk a lot about women's rights and what happens in their wombs and what we think. But we also have smoked Gruyere. So we've got a nice balance, you know, between the French and the South, I guess. Good guess. Good guess. We're also gonna talk about meth. We're gonna make an easy four ingredient, three ingredient, three oh, minutes, yeah. probably five minutes. No, it's gonna be three minutes. It's three minutes, an undetermined amount of ingredients. That's not important, it's the time. So you wanna get your thermometer, rectal or otherwise. God, let it be otherwise. <laughs> You're in my kitchen now, baby. We've melted some butter. We need nine tablespoons. We have two tablespoons of weed butter and we have seven tablespoons of human butter. We want this butter to be 200 degrees exactly. That's the important part. So we have here three egg yolks. We wanna do a little pinch of salt, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and a little bit of water, maybe a teaspoon, maybe less. We're doing an emulsion. It's like mayo, but it's hot. This is a time sensitive butter. We're gonna use the butter to cook the eggs. Do a little at a time. It won't spill this. Oh, look at that color, wonderful. Get this all in there, probably use the spout, that's smart. A little more salt in there. You could use a little white wine, that's nice. I like to put a little heat in here. This is easy. Three minutes on a Sunday morning after you give her a good 30 seconds. This is the perfect breakfast. 30 seconds, what are you, fucking Superman? <laughs> look at that, beautiful color. That's exactly what we want. Hot egg mayo, which sounds like a great band name, so don't fucking take it. Did you go see hot egg mayo? Live at Starland. Great texture. What did I say, two tablespoons? So this is like 150 milligrams in here, maybe a cup, so be careful. And that's how you make a perfect, easy, three minute hollandaise. So a normal croque monsieur or madame has bechamel, but we're doing it for breakfast. So we're gonna go, we're getting a little funky with it. You wanna talk about Genghis Khan's board? What do we do? We did a hollandaise, we did a hollandaise instead of a bechamel. We have these delicious croissants here. We're gonna flatten them out. Kill that croissant. Things are getting rowdy over here, you know? That's nice, we just flatten these out. Short arms, <laughs> gonna get on my tippy toes. I feel like I could just fold this up and eat the entire thing in one bite. But I guess that was never up for debate, right? Next, we're gonna do a little hot honey. We're gonna caramel, oh, I broke it. This is my problem with hot honey. It's just, it's just thick and, yeah, any honey, this is my problem with it. I gotta, I'm gonna have this, I gotta, I wanna do less. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Should I talk about Marseille some more? It was set the scene. It was mid-November, it was a cold, snowy November. This was back before the government was controlling the weather and we still had snow. Yeah, let's, let's try not to make a mess, too much of a mess. I had to make one of those volcanoes, remember those? Where you pour the vinegar in the top and they explode everywhere. Yeah. I even made little dinosaur figurines. I took pride in this thing. Got on the bus Fresh. on a Monday morning and I made this beautiful volcano. I was like really proud because I still had hope in my eyes. There was a gleam in my heart. And the woman high on methamphetamine in front of our bus in the freezing cold, completely naked. We were the first car in front of her. My bus driver hit the brakes and I broke the volcano all over me. I had vinegar all over me. My volcano is ruined. We weren't allowed to tell anybody what had happened because obviously it wasn't until years later until I got addicted to crystal meth that I really understood. So we got both sides, we got butter and honey on it. We're gonna caramelize them and make our croque madame. We are going to toast up these croissants. Croissants. Got a nice hot pan here. Let's turn up the heat. All right, I'm just gonna do these for all the croissants we have, and then we're gonna make a little sandwich. A little sandwich. Oh, I smell the weed. Oh yeah, I'm gonna taste it too. I'm making a sandwich. We get a little hollandaise on here, nice. We're gonna put some prosciutto on here. You could use ham if you'd like. Prosciutto is better. You get some Gruyere. This is gonna be the top. So it's gonna, we're gonna sandwich like this. So we're gonna go some Gruyere on top here too. So a nice little place to put our egg. Nice little bed. We don't wanna be too crazy, but with the cheese, that's perfect. That's it. Nice and easy, gang. We are going to make sunny side up eggs. We don't want over easy. We don't want fried. There are differences. Let's heat up this pan. we we'll get a little butter in it. Let's get a lot of butter in it. We're gonna make all four at once. Butter. Butter's really good for you. I'll let them lie to you and tell you otherwise. 
Let's talk eggs. All eggs are organic. It's a weird marketing term. Every egg is organic. If it says pasture raised, that means they have access to being outdoors. They don't know how long they've been outdoors for or what. Cage free means they don't live in a batter cage. So they also have access to outdoors. It's not regulated by anything. What you wanna look for is, what you wanna see here in the back is certified humane. That means a third party comes in and investigates the time the chickens spend outside, how they're raised, what they're fed, no hormones. That's why these eggs are $10 for a dozen. Also white eggs are like $3.99 and brown eggs are $5.89. They're literally the same thing, but people think brown eggs are healthier, so they charge you two extra dollars because they're pieces of shit. So now our butter, want it to get a little foamy. We're gonna make our eggs. Me personally, I want a depressed, sheltered, handicapped, chicken. I don't want the chicken to have more space than me. I don't want it to have more freedom than me. I want it to be this like right on the edge of suicide. Well, I just, I just don't, why would I kill a happy chicken? Give me the sad, depressed, just lost its wife in a divorce, had to give all of his shit away. What is, what is it? Jack, uh, Jack the Ripper of chicken. Who's the other one? Who's the nice one? Ted Bundy of chicken. <laughs> who's, who's the one that killed the people that asked him to? Ed Gein of chicken. <laughs> Jack Kerouac. Jack Kerouac of chickens. <laughs> Bring me your tired, you're sick, you're hungry, you're poor. That's the Statue of Liberty, not Dr. Gordon. <laughs> but in chickens, in chickens is what I'm saying. So we have our croque madames in the oven, getting it nice and melty. The croque monsieur is the same thing as a croque madame, it just doesn't have the egg on top because... The patriarchy. I didn't say it this time. Just lived it. Lucky for you women, we've sacrificed one of our ribs for your womb. That's, I don't know, it sounds like they got out ahead of that one. And I'm sorry that once a month your body grieves because you didn't fertilize your egg. To the blood den. They don't know about the mikvah. We haven't discussed the mikvah on camera. Oh God, Jews, we're sorry. He's Jewish, I'm not, so I gotta be quiet, I guess. A common mistake people make when they're making a sunny side up egg is that they don't wait for this kind of gelatinous part to get white like this. They get impatient. So what you want to do now, you can throw a little water in here. You have the steam, but we that's more for like an over hard egg. We don't want that. We don't want to really cook the yolk itself. We just want to cook all this membrane around the egg. Look how beautiful. A healthier chicken is healthier food, you know, I think. My uncle says you can't scare the animal before you butcher it because then you get its anxiety. But he also lives on a kiwi farm in Italy. So I mean, he's not up to date on everything. That do you want to hear more about my time on meth? Uh, These would be monsieurs, and we're going to turn them into madames now. We got a little hollandaise. We'll go in the middle, and we'll go on top. Our womb has borne fruit. And that fruit is egg. <laughs> it is, it is. Oh, that's the wrong place to put it. Way to go. It's got to go on top. I remember my first time. Well, we're high. It's okay. It's got to be fine. Look at that. We fixed it. This is the top. Don't patronize me. You're so deserving of it. And if you want... We did have 150 milligrams in here. We could throw a little bit extra on top. That's beautiful. Now you're French. You're welcome. Ooh la la. Let's just, you know, maybe we just eat this and then we... Let's just end the madness, you know? In a good way? Kevorkian style. <laughs> Kevorkian style, baby. We have a treat for you today. We have our buddy Shane here, who is the country's second leading philatelist. Yeah, yeah, come get close to me. Ooh. Feel my Ooh. heat. Come here, come here. Bring your cashmere. <laughs> get this egg yolk all over your cashmere and tell the good people how you feel about the sandwich and maybe you tell them some nice things about me that I haven't paid you for at all. Definitely haven't. <laughs> you make it Shane look real tall. You do have beautiful hair. He's, he's Dutch. They're fucking swimming. Got beautiful hair. Shane, I made a lot of bold claims to these people about getting laid. You Dutch son of a bitch. That's a trade route I'd like to traverse. Well, I'm getting jealous of him now. It's more the hair and the calves. You got the calves of a Dutch boatman. I apologize for how high you have to be on your way home, but you're, since you're Dutch, you can't stay here any longer. Just ask a question. Any subtext you're reading into that question is your own biases. Not this is Lenny Lenape country, you mother... <laughs> I stand with Anne Frank in that whole debacle, that whole attic debacle. I'm on her side. I'm Italian. <laughs> I just switched sides at the end. That's, that's, uh, we know a losing side when we see one. 
I, I spoke over you for the past 10 minutes. I'm yeah, treating. maybe take a minute talking about the food. I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> it's, the food is delicious. <laughs> Love it. We have W. Edwards Deming the fuck out of this thing. Remember, yeah. kids, don't go to school. Do math and maybe have sex with a Dutchman and have beautiful children will don't do math Mm. or the dutch you don't have to i mean i kept eating because i'm a gluttonous fuck but you know i'm realizing now the more that we film that most people don't have an appetite to keep eating food for hours it's all right yeah it's called satire people go ahead yeah say what say what say what your things are shane brower audio engineer so Mm. you have anything that you want to record you want it mixed mastered however hit me up um ba heathen on instagram Insta. Thanks for coming. <laughs> like, subscribe, go follow Shane. See, he's very interesting. You can follow him in real life. Anywhere you want, he'll take his shirt off and he'll play Wonderwall for you. We'll see you next week. Wonderwall. <laughs> That's not how it goes.